Two top three picks are set to make their MLW debuts today for the freshly refurbished Metro Magic in an intriguing series against the Great Lakes Skaters. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz alongside TC3, ready to begin the Gators and Magic seasons. And frankly, these two teams had horrible seasons in 2022 and they're looking to get that sour taste out of their mouths. Yeah, very frankly put there, but it was a rocky finish for the Gators. They lost their last six games of the year, getting swept by both the Mallards and the Wildcats. But this is a talented team, folks. They went three and 12 last year, but Cheatham, Jorgensen, and Zerlag took this team to a championship just a couple years ago. They won it all, and they added Jason Chadwick from the Metro Magic. So this will be his first time facing his old team today, and there's some bad blood there, folks. For those of you who listen to the podcast, you've heard the conversations amongst Curdy, Chadwick, and the rest of the cast from Trenton, Michigan. They may be a little mad at Chadwick, mad at Zerlag for making the move, and mad at me and Jorgy for kind of, you know, filtering the move. Trevor was not happy. Like, he was livid. Uh, there's some hostility in the air for sure, so I'm excited to see how that plays out. Along with those guys, they also have Reese Harris, who didn't play much last year, but he could be a factor at the dish. So hopefully only up from here for the Gators. And Tommy, coming into a year, I don't know if we've had a team more fascinating than this Metro Magic team. You, of course, have the number one overall pick, Grant Miller. All eyes will be on him today, as well as you got RJ Walgate, the National Player of the Year in our U17 division last year, um, as well as AJ Ackerman, a UDFA out of Rochester, Michigan. So very excited to see all three of those guys join the vets, and that consists of Jack Agner, Trevor Bonham, and Jordan Curdy. Three guys that know the ropes and have been in the big games before. You guys forget, this team was in the ALCS in 2021, so they've gotten to that stage just right under the World Series, so they're hoping Grant and RJ and AJ kind of get them over that hump. So while they have that upside in sights, I want to go a little bit more into the, the past of these two squads, specifically the 2022 regular season where these two squads were the bottom two in all three of these categories, runs for, runs against, and run differential. And I mean, some, some of these stats are horrible. I mean, 14 runs scored for, for the uh, Metro Magic in 2022 all year long. It's just not going to get you into the postseason. It's not going to get you far at all. So um, they're really, like I, I said it before, I'll say it again, a sour taste is in their mouths and they're looking for anything different in 2023. Mm, and folks, I am very excited to share with you information about our first special series of the year. And it is right here in our home state of Michigan. We're in Detroit. It is a two-part series. So part one, games one and two, will be Monday, June 5th at 7 p.m. at the Corner Ballpark, which is the home of the former Tiger Stadium. That is open for public admission. On Friday that week at 10 a.m., the conclusion of this series will be at Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers, and that game is also open for public admission. So for information on that, if you guys want to come out, it will be the first link in our description, and it should be a great series between the D-backs and the Eagles. I cannot wait for that. That's going to be so fun. But without further ado, guys, it is now time for player interviews. All right, my guy Grant, I just want to know what's the feeling like to be in this new environment and to join the Metro Magic officially for day one of your career? It's magical, <laughs> period. No, uh, it's, it's really, it's, it's exciting. Um, I'm happy to meet all the guys in person. Um, I'm excited to kind of see how our, our energy and our, our uh, you know, chemistry gets going uh, throughout mm -hmm. the year. So I think we're all excited and ready to attack today. All right, Chatty, first off, you look iced out. Appreciate it. Secondly, this is your old squad, the Metro Magic. Is there any animosity in the air, or have you kind of put that in the past? No, there absolutely is. Um, <laughs> no, I listen to the podcast. I hear what these guys got to say about me and my new squad. So we're ready. They're ready. We're ready. They're ready. Here we go. Gators Magic for the third series of 2023. The Magic will go Miller, Curdy, Agner, then Bonham. Here's Grant to lead off 2023 for the Magic. Missed off ball four. Grant Miller takes first on his first plate appearance. Ball four, first and second for the Magic. Here is Agner now in the three hole. What a pitch from Jorgensen. A little slide drop action. I see Jorgie. Pitch at 70. Jorgie's the dealer right now. Two away for Grant Miller. One four is bouncing back after those two walks to lead off the inning. Tipped into the zone, strike three. Jorgensen gets out of it. After the first two guys reach, Jorgensen settles down. That's right, folks. It will be Grant Miller on the mound. To left field, Bonham is under it, and he makes the play. One down for Miller. 
That is a great start. Missed off ball four, he lost Chris. Here is Chadwick now for his first AB against his former team. Missed up at 72, right below the limit. Here is Zerlag with a couple guys on. Outside, the bases are juiced. It will bring back up Brendan Jorgensen with one out, three guys on. Got him, strike three, two down. Miller loves it. A lot of chatter in the field right now. It's a new feel around the Magic Org. One more out would be huge for this team in their opening game of the season. It will be Cheatham, the former World Series MVP. Shot to center! Bomb! Chris Cheatham! Grand slam! On the first pitch of the AP! He sends it into the trees! And it's 4 0 Gators! Chomp! Chomp! Come on, let's go! Oh, that's lethal for the magic. Let's go! Chadwick to Curdy under it, and he makes the play. Good job for Miller regroup. Really, just one bad mistake in that inning but it can be very costly. You're a cheat code, Chris. You're a cheat code. Get it? And he walked him on four. Ball four again. First and second for Bonham now. Come on, Trump! Yeah, and he just missed ball four. The tying run comes to the plate and it's grand. Huge opportunity here for the rookie and number one overall pick. And here it is. Shot! Didn't get all of it! And it's Chadwick in front of the BL wall. Just missed that one. Now if you don't get all four, you'd love to have a couple here to just chip back at that lead. Here's Curdy. What a pitch from Jorgensen! Gets a little playful with the delivery there. And he sits Curdy down. So after the bases were loaded, he bounces back with two outs. What a pitch from Jorgensen! Gets out of the bases loaded jam, and no runs come across. Four nothing remains the score. Headed to the bottom of the second. What a pitch from Grant. Perfect speed as well, 72. Fantastic slider there. Sean Jorgensen to center. Five nothing Great Lakes Gators. Oh, this has to be so relieving for them after that very tough 2022 season. And it is five nothing. In game one, two shots already for this dynamic 2020 rookie duo. Did not see this coming, folks. They are smacking the ball around. He's back! Miller's throwing strikes, they're just hitting it. Let's go! Let's go, Meadow! Shot! Chadwick gets the ball into center field! Oh my goodness. It's a parade out here. They've got Grant's number. 
Nice pitch from Grant Miller. Strike three. Shot to center, Jordan, it's him again! Wow! This is unreal. These pitches are good. The hitting is just immaculate. Jorgensen goes yard once more, and it is eight nothing now in the second inning. Where was this all of last year? Shot to center, Jorgensen! Shot to center, Jorgensen! Wow! Fair back to Grant, takes it himself, and he gets out of the inning. Eight nothing, Great Lake skaters. Four home runs in the game. Outside, ball four, bottom of the leadoff walk. Pitch from Jorgensen, strike three. Curry. What a pitch from Jorgensen! Two away now! He's feeling it! Stop. Fair ball back to Jorgensen! What a play! Got him! Oh, that's an all time play for Brendan Jorgensen! And the snag from Brendan Zerlag at first base will end this game. What a gem from Jorgensen! And finalizes that game with a top play. RJ Walgate on the mound for the Metro Magic. Here we go. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Great start for the rookie. Sits down Jorgensen, one down. Slider, left center, and that one is caught by Grant at the wall! Robs the homer! This team needed a spark, and they get it right there! Wow. After getting hit around in game one, he gets it done in the field in game two. Check out this route from Grant on that fly ball, folks. on this we have a lot of conflicting viewpoints call on the field is originally out we shall see if it stands after review that call is reversed he is safe at first base Field. Miller under it, and he gets out of the inning. RJ Walgate, just 14 years old, but getting it done on Whipple's biggest stage. Grant Miller to lead it off in game two. What a pitch from Jorgensen! Snuck it in there! Oh my goodness! Swing and a miss! Jorgensen with another strikeout on the day. Swing and a miss. Brendan Jorgensen cruising. Hasn't allowed a hit, let alone a run, all day. What a pitch from Walgate. Makes him chase. Oh, look at this movement. Fooled Chris. How about this kid? 
He's only 14! Swing and a miss at 72, perfect speed! RJ gets out of it. He thought he had strike three on the previous pitch, but it was a speed violation. But as Rashid Wallace says, ball don't lie. Quick pitch, playing and a miss at 73. Auto ball, auto ball, auto ball, 73. Hey, 73, 73, 73, 73. That's all right, that's all right. That's all right, do it again. Nice pitch for Brendan Jorgensen on the drop ball. Strike three. Shot to left field, three hit with his first career MLW hit. An absolute shot to left field. Now it's Curdy. What a pitch from Jorgensen. Strike three. Shot into the gap. Miller will stay at second base, first and second for Bonham. They've got a guy in striking distance. Missed up, just missed, and we are loaded for Miller. Who would you rather have up if you're a fellow magician out there? Full count, two outs. Here is the pitch from Jorgensen. Shot to left field, past Chadwick, one run scores. Here is Agner, save, and out of play. Bottom will score as well. Three nothing Metro Magic. Huge hit from Miller. Up. First and second now. That base was previously open. Now Agner's got two guys on. This to left field, Chadwick with the catch. Line out to left field. Agner does not like it. But that will end the inning. After a very clutch bases clearing single and an error off the bat of Grant Miller. That is huge for his confidence and this entire team's morale. All right, folks, it is now time for the BL 101 trivia question of the day. And given that there is three rookies in this series, it's going to be rookie related. It is Chris Cheatham in 2020. Here is Walgate now to close it out. What a pitch from Walgate! One down in the third. He is spotting up. Inside. Phenomenal AB from Jordanson. One on, one out. Chomping at the bit. No pun intended. Hard hit to the left side. Grant to first, got him! Two away! Nice play from Miller to Bonham. Get that Bennett, get that. Shot, Bonham catches it! And the Magic win! Game two! What a gem from Walgate. Shuts out the Gators in game two. Three nothing final score. Miller with the bases clearing single. Great catch in left field. Just an all around great victory for this squad. Chris Cheatham on the mound for the Great Lakes Gators. First start of 2023 for him. Ball four, he left it up. Lead off walk for Grant Miller. And here is A.J. Ackerman, folks. First career A.B. Been a long time participant at our Whiffle in the Mitten tourneys. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Chris Cheatham. Dirty drop ball there, strike three. Nice pitch from Chris Cheatham. Strike three. Bonham lifts it. Cheatham under it, makes the play right in front of Trevor. Very quick inning in the first. RJ Walgate is now back to the mound in game three for his second career start. 
Swing and a miss. Wallgate gets him on strikes. Strike three. Wallgate is finding his groove here. Fair ball. Bonham makes the play in right field. Two down. Quickly in the bottom of the first. Quick pitch gets Chadwick to chase. A very quick inning. Thrown from RJ Wallgate, who is coming into his own here at the Meadows. What a pitch from Chris Cheatham. Strike three, dirty. Oh. To left field. It's Jorgensen under it, and he makes the play. That change of speed is crazy. Cheatham is throwing legit changeups here. Again, a flare to left, and Cheetah makes the play. A very quick top of the second. Game three is moving very quickly. Swing and a miss on the riser. Zerlag chases. Quick pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Strike three, RJ is dealing right now. Oh my goodness, Ballgate is cruising. Another zero on that scoreboard. How about this kid? He's got a screw, a slide, a riser. Five of the six outs have been strikeouts. Thrown by RJ. And Jorgie's mic'd up. Fun fact, um, I have more wins and home runs in the first game that I did all last season. My boss is here, so I, I had to put on a show for the boss. Unfortunately, game two didn't go our way. Because Jason had to uh, have that whole kerfuffle over here. Let's watch it. Oh, Chris, Chris said to watch this. Let's watch it. Can we, can we pan over to that or something? Oh, to left field! It's George. Oh. I watched it. I watched it. He said, "Watch this. Come right in your hands." That's not what I meant. No, that's hey. Out and out. Honestly, I think this rivalry might be a little dead because of Grant Miller. He's too nice. I can't hate them anymore. First father in the league as well. It's something I thought I'd never say. I thought Curdy would be the first father to be honest. You, 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 you! Can I get an AB? That was quick. I love the efficient hitting. Can I, can I get an AB? Uh, we'll ask Mitch. Okay. Come on, good. come along. I'm trying to do the Kindler, dude. Are you hitting? Can I get an AB? Yeah, I'm second up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go, baby. Two thumbs up. How is Jordi as an employee? Shows up on time, does what he's supposed to. Doesn't go above and beyond when he needs to. <laughs> That's what I like to do, baby. The boys love me in the office. I'll, I'll walk him like up at that. I don't care at this point. Man. Man. That was gonna hit, right? That was. That's so, I don't want to say anything while he's around. <laughs> Get back over there. Quick pitch. Swing. It's it's rough now. Can Grant go back out there? Got the piece! Corner! Strike three. Shot! Oh my goodness! That was a bomb! Grant Miller! Solo shot! First career home run in MLW! And it's one nothing magic! New life for this squad. Absolute missile. <laughs> Fair ball. 
Oh, that's a tough scene for AJ. Ground out. Right analog stick. I still can't get over how big of a missile that home run was, though, from Grant. Swing and a miss. Come on, boys. Hesitant swing there from Jack. Strike three. But it is 1 0 Metro Magic. Off the bat of Grant Miller in that solo shot. Once again, RJ Walgate will look to close it out. What a pitch from Walgate! Strike three! On the screw drop, that thing is sick. The high release point two. Right and we've got a Pat Lee cards pinch hitter. Reese Harris is into the game. Got him looking, strike three. Two down in the third. That drop ball is lethal. The future is now six strikeouts in a row for RJ. Fair ball, back to RJ, the flip. Save the first! Jorgensen beats it out. In this game, we'll go on. Oh, that could be costly. And Cheatham is now up. Back to RJ, and he makes the play! Spikes the ball, and the Magic win the series! After losing game one, eight nothing. They bounce back. RJ Walgate, the 14 year old, and Grant Miller, the number one overall pick, combined to make a huge impact in game three. I love this new look Magic Squad, and they're feeling good. They win it two out of three. That was wild. The Magic win this series two out of three. We've got both the rookies here, um, in addition to AJ, who also put some great swings on the ball. But before I go to you guys, Agner, just assess the day, and for you guys to have a series victory in your first series of 2023, how's it feel? I'm just ecstatic right now, to be honest. I mean, we, we tie our win total from last year on the first day at the Meadows. Uh, we get a great team win. Everyone that was here got involved. I mean, I, I really couldn't have asked for a better performance out of RJ. Wasn't really planning for him to pitch that much, and it was just working for us. So, you know, had Grant show up when we needed it, big time. Uh, just awesome. So happy. Love it. RJ, I'm so happy for you. 14 years old, back-to-back -back shutouts. Um, just what was it like being out there and succeeding so well in your first appearance? Dude, I still can't even believe I'm at the Meadows, man. Like, I'm just so thankful, you know, having these awesome teammates, the Lord giving us a beautiful day of weather, you know, just allowing, you guys allowing a 14-year-old that lives so far away to be in this league, you know. It was crazy. Warm-ups were a little bit rough. Didn't know how I was going to do, but just to know that I pitched six innings scoreless, you know, just truly so thankful and just can't wait for next time. This is absolutely unreal. Job well done, Mr. RJ Walgate and Grant. Now, after that first game, things were looking a little bleak. I just want to know what the guys said to you and what you told yourself to kind of bounce back in games two and three. Yeah, no, all the guys were uplifting and they were like, look, bounce back, need you at the plate. And um, no, I trust the guys to make, make pick me up and just go after one game at a time. And I knew it'd be an adjustment period. So, uh, you know mm -hmm. what? Like I was saying, well, I was baptized in the league today, so <laughs> better luck next time. You had, your, you had your welcome to MLW moment, that's for yes. sure. Fans, subscribe to MLW in that corner and see the last video from us in that corner. As always, all of our links will be in that description below. We'll see you next time.